Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be checking out another one of your guys' solar systems. So today we have got one system from the user, an unknown user, or no it's now a known user, they've changed their name again. Um, so we've got one uh, one system from them to check out today and it's called the SV Signy system. So without further ado, we're going to hop straight into this. Let's see what we've got here. Okay. Right. So, SV Signy is a white luminous supergiant. It has four planets and two brown dwarf stars. Okay, right, let's head to the star itself. Oh, we've got a big jump here. Right. So, there's the star itself. So, check the stats on it quickly. Compared to the sun, so as you can see, it's very. Well, 0 0.9 or 8 AU, that's huge. 15 suns, that's a massive star compared to the sun. Luminosity is crazy as well. First, the planets. An average gas giant, it has three moons, and that moon is dangerously close. I mean, Bruce Limit would tear that thing to absolute shreds when we press play. So I think we're going to have to do that. Um, but there it is. And then it's also got um, some other moons here as well. So we've got a Troton, a moon less than 0 0.023 of Earth's mass. It has an atmosphere. We've also got this moon here, a white iced over planet. It would be one of the last places you think has ice. It's probably got a high albedo on it. And then lastly, we've got tracks over here, a reddish greenish planet, a toxic chlorine atmosphere and high temperatures make this planet very hostile to life. It's pretty close to the star as well. But I think what we need to do straight away is, I mean, I can see this as happening from a mile off. That moon is way too close to that gas giant. I mean, surely. I mean, I'd, I'd highly expect Rouge Limit to shred that straight away. I mean, I'm quite surprised it hasn't. Honestly, maybe it's a custom, so maybe it's not really doing it. But I mean, yeah, I'm very, very surprised that that hasn't torn that to shreds. But yeah, anyways, moving on. What we got next? Next up, we got this object over here. Also, average. That's all he's put for it. So, yeah, just another average gas giant. Okay. So, it looks like the next one, again, this is probably just another average gas giant from the description he's put. So, yeah, there you go. Cool. That's that one. Coltor, finding an interesting planet. It has two moons, one ring, which eventually became two moons. Okay. So it's a nice, yeah, a nice gas giant actually. And then there's the moons. So the moon is Hattable. It's got a very, very interesting design of water on one side, land on the other side. So this is it here. So relatively, this one's a relatively cold moon. A few lakes separated by huge distances. It has a massive northern hemisphere ice sheet. Okay, you can see it in the uh, thing up there. So it's a pretty interesting design. I think there may be a bit of glitches going on here as well, but that's probably because this is exported from an older version of the game. And then uh, this one over here, home of the Task Civilization. They evolved to survive without much food or water. They can also survive in conditions that humans can't. Okay. So we've got another moon here, a moon orbiting. Again, that is just dangerously close. I'm surprised Rouge Limit hasn't torn that to shreds. Um, there we are. Okay. Moving on, Salby, a moon orbiting Task. Okay, so yeah, that was the yeah, that was the moon. Okay. Next up, we've got Akam, a tiny moon orbiting Coltor. Where's that? Oh yeah, that's it over there, Akam. Third moon over that. Cool. Right, next up we've got Gogmead. Uh, this one, it is 44M, quite far. I don't know what those stats stand for off the top of my head. I think it's something to do with the distance, possibly, quite far out. If we look at the range here, 516 AU away, yeah, pretty, pretty far. So that's Gogmead. And lastly, we've got Oratune over here. Brown Dwarf. It is the long, loneliest object in the system. 0 0.02 light years from the star. 1140 AU from Gogmead. So that is very, very far out. I mean, yeah, look at this. We're 0 0.017 million years. Pretty far. So there we go. There's Oratune done. And that does it for this whole system as well. It's a very, very quick one as well. But yeah, there we are. So that is the CV Signy system from um, that user there. Right, okay, so that was a, yeah, a known user. Okay, cool. But yeah, there we are, guys. So that does it for this quick uh, quick video of checking out a system. So, yeah, I'll film another one again this week. So that was a very, very fast one. So we'll have two episodes this week. But, um, yeah, that all said and done, guys. Massive thank you to that guy for sending him his system. And also, if you like this video, make sure to press that like button, subscribe for more. And, yeah, guys, I'll see you in the next video where I uh, check out one of your systems as yeah this one was quick so we'll, uh, we'll definitely do another one of those so stay tuned for a few days and then uh, the next episode will be out um, following this video but yeah that was said and done make sure you guys all have a great day stay safe out there and I'll see you in the next video
goodbye.